Hello users, and welcome back to Above It All. This is the series in which I talk about how much I love Bernard Sanders. So, Bernie has been going hard after Joe Biden. Now, he should have been doing this the whole time because Joe Biden's a scumbag, but he's going hard now and I appreciate it. So he tweeted this out. When legislation came up some years ago determining whether our gay brothers and sisters could be open about their sexual orientation and serve in the military, I said yes. Joe Biden said no. So I got this little pride bumper sticker. I just want to say, like, I love Bernie Sanders. And I want to play this clip that he's referencing. I do, because it's amazing. So? In doubt, the same people that would vote to cut defense $177 billion, the same ones that would put homos in the military, the same ones that would not fund BRAC, the same Mr. ones chairman. that would not clear up. Mr. No, chairman. I will not. Sit down, you socialist. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. The gentleman, you. Parliamentary inquiry, Mr. Chairman. Do we have to call the gentleman a gentleman uh, if he's not one? Mr. <laughs> committee will be in order. Mr. The chairman. From, the gentlewoman from Colorado is recognized. Mr. And the gentleman from Vermont is recognized. Well, the gentleman from purpose? California, is he still here or did he disappear? <laughs> he For disappeared? what purpose does the gentleman from Vermont I rise? I rise to speak in support of the amendment. The gentleman from Vermont is I wonder is if right. I could the question the gentleman from California. The I am rising in support of the, the gentleman, amendment. The gentleman, the chair is in charge, the chair is speaking. The gentleman from Vermont has been recognized for a period of five minutes, and you may now proceed. I thank the chairman very much. I would like the opportunity, if the gentleman from California would respond, just to ask him a brief question, if I might. Now, my ears may have playing, been playing a trick on me, but I thought... I heard the gentleman a moment ago say something, quote unquote, about homos in the military. Was I right in hearing that expression? Absolutely. Putting homosexuals in the military. You said something about homos in the military. Was the gentleman referring to the many thousands and thousands of gay people who have put their lives on the line in countless wars defending this country? I'm was talking, that the group of people that the gentleman was referring to? I'm talking about the military people in the military do not support That's not the what we were bill. talking about. You used the word homos in the military. You have insulted thousands of men and women who have put their lives I'm on the line. I'm talking about you and liberals like you that keep the foreign defense. Gentlemen, I would so beautiful. Gentlemen, claiming my time. So beautiful, honestly. So I didn't have this clip prepared, but uh, I want to play this. Um, I think this is the clip. Uh, do you support, as they do in Alaska, granting same-sex benefits to couples? Absolutely. Do I support granting same-sex benefits? Absolutely, positively. Look. In an Obama-Biden administration, there will be absolutely no distinction from a constitutional standpoint or a legal standpoint between a same-sex and a heterosexual couple. The fact of the matter is that under the Constitution, we should be granted, uh, same-sex couples should be able to have visitation rights in the hospitals, joint ownership of property, uh, life insurance policies, etc. That's only fair. It's what the Constitution calls for. And so we do support. We do support making sure that, that committed couples in the same-sex marriage are guaranteed the same constitutional benefits as it relates to their property rights, their rights of visitation, their rights of insurance, their rights of ownership, as, as heterosexual couples do. Governor, would you support expanding that beyond Alaska to the rest of the nation? Well, not if it goes closer and closer towards redefining the traditional definition of marriage between one man and one woman. And unfortunately, that's sometimes where those steps lead. But I, I also want to um, clarify if there's any kind of suggestion at all from my answer that I would be anything but tolerant of adults in America choosing their partners, choosing relationships um, that uh, they deem uh, best for themselves. You know, I am tolerant and I have uh, a very diverse family and group of friends and even within that group you would see some who may not agree with me on this issue, some very dear friends who don't agree with me on this issue. But um, in that tolerance also, no one would ever propose, not to, in a McCain-Palin administration, to do anything to prohibit, say, visitations in a hospital or um, contracts uh, being signed, negotiated between parties. But I will tell Americans straight up that I don't support 
uh, defining marriage as anything but between one man and one woman. And I think through nuances, we could go round and round about what that actually means. But I'm being as uh, straight up with Americans as I can in uh, my non-support for anything but a traditional definition of marriage. Let's try to avoid nuance, Senator. Do you support gay marriage? No. Barack Obama nor I support redefining from a, from a civil side what constitutes marriage. We do not support that. That is basically a decision to be able to be left to the face and people who practice their face, the determination what you call it. The bottom line, though, is, and I'm glad to hear the governor, I take her at her word, obviously, that she thinks there should be no civil rights distinction, none whatsoever, between a committed gay couple and a committed heterosexual couple. If that's the case, we really don't have a difference. Is that what you said? Uh, your question to him was whether he supported uh, gay marriage, and my answer is the same as his, and, and it is that I do not. Wonderful. You agree. Let, on that note, let's move to foreign policy. Okay. <laughs> The worst part about that is like all the wheelie weasel words, all the jumping around it like, oh, I, well, I support this and that and, and that and this, but, you know, they're really not married, dude. You know, you know, we should be able to have this and maybe I'll fight for that, but, uh, you know, definitely not married, man. This guy's the guy that voted for DOMA. Don't ask, don't tell. It's just like, it's, it's disgusting. Disgusting. It is disgusting. This was 12 years ago. 12 years ago, you had a debate audience literally laugh. Like, they laughed at the fact that, oh yeah, both people don't like gay people and they don't want gay marriage. <laughs> How novel. They both agree. They both agree that gay people should be second class citizens. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god, that's so awesome. My teams, the teams are in agreement. Like, it's just disgusting, dude. It's disgusting. Oh my god, it's so disgusting. You have fucking Bernie Sanders in 1995. Like, getting extremely visibly and viscerally upset by people using homophobic language in Congress. And then you have Joe Biden literally 13 years later saying just almost almost the same kind of stuff. Like, oh yeah, I don't hate gay people. I just don't want them to have the same rights as me. Oh, constitutionally, you know, maybe we can do this and that. It's like, they're hiding behind the weasel words. Like, it's, God, it's disgusting. Oh, I hate it. I hate it all. Um, I fucking hate Joe Biden, dude. Bernie needs to go hard. He needs to go harder. And we can't stop here. The next debate needs to be... He needs to, like, just, there's one clear path forward, guys. There's one clear path forward, and it's not Joe Biden. It's not Joe Biden. 